is the Success Spark segment of Ignite Success. I'm your host, Snowden McFall, professional speaker, author, trainer, and coach. And with me today is Tula Wooten. Tula is the founder of the Caregiver Coalition of Northeast Florida and Tula's Tips for Caregivers. So welcome, Tula. Thanks, Snowden. I'm so happy to be here. Thrilled to have you here. So tell us about this, because I know you've devoted much of your career to caregiving. So I know it's a critical need, a critical issue in today's world. It really is. Actually, in our nation, some people are starting to refer to caregiving as the next public health crisis. Mm. Think about mm. that a minute. We have over 44 million caregivers in the United States, and that number is growing as our aging population right. is growing so fast. And actually, there'll be a gap at some point between the number of aging people that we have and the caregivers to care for them. So it's a really important issue. But caregivers often neglect their own self-care. They do, they do. Uh, while they're in the throes of caring for someone, it can be so all-encompassing at every level, physically, emotionally, spiritually, and even financially. Um, caregivers just many, many times get really ill and sadly sometimes die before the person they're taken care of. I saw that, you know, when I've been researching my book on women and overwhelm, I saw that many caregivers, um, and they're largely women, right. many caregivers end up having major changes in their careers, yep. they lose out on opportunities, they end up having to cut back their hours, they right. can't get promotions, they lose a lot of their lifetime income because of the caregiving. You know, uh, we women are the first to quit the job market That's right. to either care for children, go back, and then later as boomers, right. we quit working to care for parents or other aging relatives that we have in our family. And when you read the research on that, it says that the average hit that a woman takes to her financial, for her retirement portfolio, right. is about $324,000. Wow, she's who lost in court. Yeah, yes. who can afford to do that? That's right. Yet it is the expectation of so many aging parents. It is um, that their daughter will take care of them. Absolutely, daughters are truly the backbone of our long-term care system in the United States. It's not nursing homes, it's not assisted livings, it's the daughters taking care of family members. And you know, the, the unfortunate part of that, as you said, is that their own self-care suffers so enormously, and they're often in the sandwich between right. their children and their parents. Aging parents. And their health does suffer. Caregivers have been shown to be at a higher risk for depression, mm. kind of a no-brainer, right. especially if you isolate, and a lot That's of caregivers right. do that. Right. Um, stroke, diabetes, hypertension and a lot of other stress-related diseases. And if you put yourself on the back burner, so to speak, while you're caring for your loved one, if you have any sort of illnesses yourself and you're not uh, taking care of yourself, uh, it's not a good outcome. No, it's not. Um, so what are your tips, Tula? What would you say to caregivers who might be watching this and they want to know how can they take better care of themselves? I always say, and I know how hard it is because I've been there and struggled with it myself, but you have to make time for yourself. You mm -hmm. have to put yourself first. And that means getting the adequate rest that you need. Mm -hmm. And yes, that may mean getting some additional help in the home so that you can, particularly if you're caring for someone with dementia, sometimes there is oh, no break. Right. That's You've right. You've got to get extra people in the, help, in the home to help you. So rest, nutrition's really important, mm. um, your sleep, your food, and then your social life. Many people yes. give up seeing their friends, going to lunch with their friends or bowling with the guys. That is the worst thing you can do. Because to give that up. To give that up because then you are isolating and then the goal here is for your aging relative to die before you, not the other right, way around. Right. And when they do die, sadly, I hear from so many caregivers. I just don't know who I am anymore mm. now that I'm not a caregiver. That is the last thing you want. Mm. You've got to take care of yourself. Put yourself first. Don't lose contacts with your friends and other family members so that when that does happen, you can go on with your life with no regrets because you did everything you could for your loved one, but you also took care of yourself. Um, it's important. Well, and I think what you just mentioned is something that is really important, and that is that all too often, 
women in particular identify themselves according to their roles. Right. And so if their whole identity is wrapped up in caring for an aging parent and then that parent passes on, right. who are they afterwards? And right. they already always had an identity regardless of what role they were playing. But Absolutely. They, they lose that. They, they lose, lose sight that. of that, yeah, which is really important. So keep your identity no matter what. That means living your own life too, right? It le means living your own life. And if I could add, yes. I know it's hard, but I, I tell women, don't quit your job right to go and care for an aging relative right. you can afford that kind of an impact that's there right. are resources out there to help you that's right and that's why i started my radio show um, in 2010 is to help right. caregivers find the resources connect them so that they can get the help they need and i try to inspire and encourage caregivers as well it's hard and i know you have a big event in october you want to promote. i do it's all about seniors um it's called love a senior day it's october 26 at the jacksonville fairgrounds wonderful from 10 to 3 and it's for seniors to forget about their age and just come and have a fun day at the fair it'll be decorated like a fair we'll have fair games fair food and we have an amazing keynote speaker, Dr. Bill Thomas. If you don't know him, audience, please Google him. He's the international authority on aging. He is, his theme is, I'm going to disrupt the way we view aging. He doesn't want it to be seen as a, just a period of decline. He sees it as a period of growth. Okay. Um, that's why he came up with the greenhouse concept. And Brooks Rehab, by the way, is the only facility in Jacksonville that has a greenhouse assisted living facility. And they're one of our major sponsors because Wonderful. of their affiliation. So it's going to be a day at the fair, games, fun, food. It's free. Come and have a great time. Resources, again, for the senior okay. and the caregivers. We'll have about 80 vendors offering fun for the senior as well as resources to help you. Well, thanks so much for being with us, Tula, and we'll look forward to that event. Thank you. I appreciate you, Snowden. Mm -hmm.